Good evening, and thank you. I just wanted to ask a, a identify couple. yourself, even uh, though we all Preston, forty seven Glade Path. <coughs> My streets in that article twenty there is one of the streets from the flooding down the beach. I, I was questioning about some of the articles uh, on here that uh, like Article 9 and 20 and 22, whether or not they were all selectmen sponsored. I, I wasn't sure, but, you know, I, I, I'd like to say that, you know, no one's always right, but no one's always wrong either. To get a little bit of a history here with um, Article 44, 2007, it was an article that I wrote with the help, believe it or not, of Mary Louise Woosley and Bonnie Searle. And we really didn't know each other, but they offered me help just to make sure it was legal. I did the rough draft. They tuned it up. And then at the time, I didn't want it to be about me, so I didn't put my name on it. You know, I just said the registered voters, you know, so many. And Mary Louise at the time said to me, Charlie, you got to put your name. I said, okay. I just think it would be better in the future if we were clear about whether, you know, it was sponsored by the selectmen or who it was sponsored by. And, um, you know, it might be in the book. I could have been an oversight on my part. But when we created that special revenue fund, we just gave the tool, the voters did it. The voters get the credit for it. But it, it was funny at the time, because even though they helped me write it, Bonnie Shaw at the time says to me, Charlie, I oppose you on this, and I'm going to testify against you at the hearing. I said, I have no problem with that. So two, two people spoke at the hearing, she and I. One opposed, one for. And she helped me write it. And then, you know, and this, people can work together, both sides of the aisle, you know. The flooding at Glade Path, I feel the pain as much as anybody with the flooding down there. My property's been completely underwater. I came in for an assessment, uh, an abatement a few years ago based on that. That might be something you'd be looking at coming down the road in the future. My property's been underwater completely half a dozen times in this past month. You know, Article 9, I look, I look at that, and you know, it also bothers me when it says no tax impact. Well, a million and a half dollars is a major tax impact for me. You know, I, and, I, and I realize it's an undesignated fund balance, but I, it's getting to the point where I can't afford to live in Hampton. You know, my, my house is basically a tear down, two by fours, T111. I'm, I'm paying $4,000 a year now. Everybody say that's cheap, but come see what I got. A bedroom and a bathroom. Article 20, <clears throat> about the flooding. Glade Path had 11 manholes replaced, I think 10 out of 11. They now have a gasket on them, there's a hinge on them, there's a bolt on them. You're probably aware of this somewhat. But I talked to Chris, and he told, you know, I asked him about them, and he goes, they make them in Brazil or something, and they have a gasket on them, a hinge, and they bolt, and they're watertight. Well, we have a serious problem with infiltration. He said they run about $600 for each one of those manholes. Okay, I'm looking at Article 20 and 22. And to me, something's wrong when it's unanimous on the Board of Selectmen, unanimous on the Budget Committee, and the yellow sheet are in complete agreement. I'm scratching my head, quite honestly. But I'm looking at 100 grand on Article 20 and 80 on King's Highway, and believe me, I feel the pain as much as anybody. But I don't think there's much you can do about it. I said it at the meeting when the governor was in town. Unfortunately, you know, people couldn't hear that later on. And, you know, that, but the people that were there heard it. I'm looking at this 100000 I'm looking at that 80000 and I'm going, that would buy 300 of those manholes at 600 bucks a piece because we're going to need an awful lot of them. The numbers I heard last week here discussed on the infiltration of the sewer, I, you know, I realize we can't go back and forth here, but we're talking telephone numbers, you know, with Hampton numbers, 9 million something gallons there from 2 million to 9. That's the problem we got. You know, you, we're not going to stop the flooding down there. The only way you can stop the flooding down there is by elevation. You know, spending 100000 is a waste, in my opinion, and buy those manholes and start changing them because we've got to stop the infiltration. And um, it's, I, 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 that's, pretty much, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I, th I thank you very much for your time. You know, and, uh, you know, hopefully people will vote those down and you guys can spend the money out of the undesignated and give, give Jacob some of the manhole covers because we need them. Thank you very much.